Lavish fam, welcome back to another vlog. So as you can see, I am here working in the office. So, um, <laughs> I am trying to get my life together, y'all. I am trying to get everything as much as possible organized before I am completely down for a couple weeks. Um, so, you know, in the last vlog I was telling y'all, well, not the last vlog, the vlog before, um, I was telling y'all how I decided I was going to start doing my own nails, right? So in true Nisha fashion, <laughs> um, I was, I started after I, you know, ordered that Beatles kit, um, I started Ben's watching, um, I think her name is Long, no, it's a Long Care Pretty Nails. I think that's what it is, Long Care Pretty Nails on YouTube. Black lady, you know what I'm saying? And she just be doing all these nails. She self-taught. You know, used to be like a... She said she used to work as a certified certified pharmacy tech. Then she started doing nails and now she just... Bam. I ain't trying to be all that. I'm just trying not to pay these people to have do my nails if I can just do my own nails myself. I know I told y'all also not long ago that I used to be a cosmetologist. I didn't have lots of careers, honey. So yeah, I went to school, was a cosmetologist, never really did that. I've always did hair. We learned how to do nails too when I was in school. That was part of the cosmetology, facials, nails, pedicures, hair. I just never really did the nail part. But anyway, <laughs> I am today. So I, my long, long story short is after binge watching her, she was like showing like every time I would watch, I'd be like, oh my goodness, pause, Amazon search, bye. So when I was watching her, she was talking about, she, one, one of them was like, I think she was using the Melody Susie. Um, she ended up, I think she was using this like nail drill. She was like reviewing it. So I went on there. Bought me one of these little Melody Susie nail drills. Make it a little bit easier for me to take these acrylics off in this gel polish. So I end up getting this. It's just a little small one. Comes with all the bits and electric and then a bag of bits or whatever for you to be able to drill that off. It comes with different sizes. As you can, oh, hold on. What I was trying not to do is drop it. So yeah, it comes with that. Then it also, I ended up getting this kit with just a bunch of um, different sizes. The nail tips is the coffin shape. And then it comes with like four different things of glue and a file. And I got, she was doing a review on this right here too, but for some reason I can't figure out how to close it back up. But it was this. Is a McCart pink nail extension gel kit, and it also came with these um, different types of like glitters, fine glitter powders. It was in this box somehow, but I don't know how to put it back in there. So. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was in something else. Who knows? But this kit comes with like pretty much everything that you need to. So it comes with like the the formers. It comes with like the little rhinestones. 
the little things if you want to use these, the, the free form your nails. Maybe this was in here. Oh, maybe. Duh, Anisha. And then it comes with the little light kit or whatever, which I already have one of these lights, but this is just the little curing light. Comes with a little booklet. Basically telling you how to use it. And then it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different gels. The top coat, the base coat, and then the cleaner stuff as well as a file and a brush. I'm going to link all this stuff below in the description box if anyone is interested in trying to do their own nails at home and save a coin because, you know, like I said, the Vietnamese people be getting pretty expensive and then they want to have do it. I also end up buying this little brush set and on the end it has the little things for nail art or to be able to pick up the little jewel jewels. Okay, I got this. This was all like one little set, the little cups to be able to put the polymer or whatever in. And it also came with two of the little dapper dishes that has the um, lids to it. So when you're doing like the gel, the um, the poly gel, you use like alcohol, like rubbing alcohol to kind of keep it movable. So you'll put a little bit of like alcohol in there to keep it movable. When I say I've been binge watching, I've been binge watching. So I've been trying to catch all the techniques because that's going to be my next set of nails hopefully for vacation i'm also going to try to do amani's nails for um graduation so then you know i also have that dip powder stuff too so i'm gonna get my collection together i'm gonna be doing these nails y'all be doing these nails so um amani and i are about to build um one of those like cubicle things that has like the nine cubicles on it like the cu cubicle storage things um for the office because i wanted to be able to put the cubes in there for my um you know what let me just go get it hold please okay so i hope you guys can see me but um this is what i was talking about the cubicle stand here um, cause I wanted to be able to organize all of my, um, crafting stuff as well as my nail stuff down here in the office. And I saw this at Lowe's and it was only 47 bucks. Cause at first I was going to try to build one and I was like, why, why am I say hi? Hi. <laughs> I was going to try to build one and I was like, why am I doing all that work? <laughs> but my life with was so I'm going to be building, putting this together real quick. And LifeWit was ever so kind to send me the actual cubicle um, bins that go inside of here. Um, so I'm going to be using those today, which, um, excuse me, sir. Thank you. So yeah, I'm going to be using those to put all of my crafting stuff inside of. They sent me six. They come in a pack of six. I will link those below if you're interested in getting some. Um, they also sent me these three um, gray storage bins as well that have these. show you because they're super cute these rope handles on them that I'm going to be using in my towel in my um, hall closet to put things in 
They're super cute, right? So I will link all of this stuff below. Super cute. Yeah, what are you doing? So I will link all the life with stuff below. They have multiple things that they sell for your household at very reasonable prices. These storage bins, these little bins here come in multiple different colors. I got the black ones. They come in bigger, I mean, in different colors and different sizes. So let's go ahead and get started putting this together and I'll let you see how it looks once I'm done. Once again, I don't do well with uh, directions. So, this may take longer than it would for somebody else. But I'm praying that it don't. Amani's here. So, hopefully, because she's smart, she gonna be able to pop this together real quick. Get on down here. Get on down here and help your mom out. I lied, y'all. I don't do well with work. I lied. Amani ain't no better I than just, me. You, I just started. And she already. And you just woke me up. Can you let my brain process something for a second? Oh, Dang. my goodness. She, I just woke up. I just woke up. Oh, Lord, y'all. We doomed. Oh we my. doomed. Mom, mom. Pray please. for us, Lord. Pray for us. A word from our sponsor. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, O, D, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I want more ABCs. Let's I want to see what Yay! Thank you. All right, y'all. So this is what the shelf is looking like. And then I'm going to put these in there. So, just open these up. Little handles on the front. So that's what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some solid black ones to go in the middle, the middle, to go in the middle, the middle, what in the crap, because I have a lot of crap that I need to put in there. So it is crap. So to be able to distinguish what is what, the ones on the outside are going to be my crafting stuff and the ones in the middle are going to be my nail stuff. So I'm gonna have solid black ones in the middle and then the ones on the edge with the trim that I got from LifeWit are gonna be for my crafting stuff. And these are just from um, Lowe's, but that just kind of helps me to be able to not have to look in each one to determine what is what. Because I'll already know. I'm open the other yes, please. What? Which one is which? I can already tell I like the life ones, life which ones better than the closet made ones, because they look so much better. But at least I'll be able to tell which ones are which, as you can see. So I'll put all my nail stuff in the middle. I 
still a handy mandy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start filling them up and put my stuff away. And then I'll be back. Okay, so ignore the vacuum that's still sitting there. I'm going to put it in the closet once I clean out the closet. Mm -hmm. um, with all of my, you know, stuff that's in there that's going to go to other junk. places. It's not junk. It's stuff that I need to, like, decorate with. Junk. Don't do that, Imani. But what do y'all think about that plant sitting or that vase sitting there next to that? Let me know y'all thoughts. Ignore this box too. This is my books I need to put on the shelves that I'm working on that too. This is going to be done. It's going to be done. But let me know y'all thoughts. I'll show it to y'all as a whole in a minute. Hold please. Okay. So this is what the office is looking like. Okay. So that's what the face is looking like sitting next to that. I want, I have an idea what I want to put up on this wall is a work in progress. Um, and then I want to put those books up on the shelves. Amani sitting there. That's that nail stuff. Okay, so I have something else that's coming for the office. It's just in transit. And like I said, ignore that vacuum over there. So what do you guys think about that vase? Does it need to be moved to another location? Does it fit? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, so I have everything for now over in these shelves. Let me show you how I have it organized. Um, it's still a work in progress, but for now, it'll do. Let me show you. Okay, so in, we'll start over here. So this one just kind of has kind of miscellaneous stuff. It has like some um, gift bags for different events or different things, some stickers for whatever, my paint brushes, my bowls for painting, um, things to hang up, frames or whatever. This is like I said, the miscellaneous drawer. This one is like ribbon, um, stampers, um, just kind of like all types of ribbon. This one is my glues, um, my staples, um, all types of stuff like that. Like my Mod Podge, adhesives, all different types of glues and staples. We'll wait and come back to the middle because, of course, that's nail stuff. And then over here, I have glitters, um, all different types of colors of glitters and sizes. And then I have like those glass, um, crushed glass things for decorations and stuff like that for decor and different like projects. So all types of like things like that. And then in this one, I have all types of acrylic paints, different colors. In this one, I have, yeah, all types of spray paints in here, different colors. And then in the middle, then here I have the nail polish remover as well as these things to help take them off. All types of kits and stuff like that. And then this drawer is just all of my gel polishes as well as my dip powder set. You see, I have like a lot of them, all different colors. And then in this drawer, I have my little kits that I just bought, which is my Beatles kit, my Melody Susie, um, my cart, and then my two um, lights and my nail form. So, so far that's what I have. I guess I'll start tackling this box and then cleaning up 
my mess. So that's where we're at. Okay, so this is what the office is looking like now. I have some books on the shelves. I like it. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. Like I said, let me know if you all think that that vase should stay there or if I should move it to another location. I just think that the colors match pretty well with, with the office. But let me know y'all thoughts. Um, of course, there's still a few more things that I want to do in here, but just let me know y'all thoughts. Good morning, y'all. As you can see, we are in my closet and it is a hot mess in here, okay? So the problem is I split my time between two homes and you all know I've been like, sick and on house arrest and all that type of stuff and you know being babysat so i have not had the time to unpack one suitcase i have not had the time to like so when i do laundry or when i do stuff or when i buy stuff i have not had a time had the time to put stuff back so stuff is everywhere when i tell you this closet look a mess i mean it don't look a hot hot mess it just look a little bit of a mess if that makes sense so i'm trying to figure that out because i need to start packing because we're going back out to the other house for Amani's graduation and then I need to put this stuff away I need to put all this stuff away and I need to put away my clothes from that trip and repack my clothes for going back out there as well as figure out what I'm going to pack to go to Mexico because girl <laughs> girl I don't even know, but look, let me show y'all what I got at Walmart yesterday. So I was in there for something totally different. I was in there for um, some toilet tissue, I want to say. I don't know, but they had these sandals right here for $14.98. I said, oh my goodness, these will be so cute on the beach. I got these. I got them in this color. And then I also got these little knockoff Birkenstocks. And they were uh, on clearance for 12 bucks and they had all different colors too. I started to get all of them, but then, you know, I had to realize I probably shouldn't. And I'm about to go to the mall because first of all, I haven't been to a mall and forever. Home goods has been my store. All, I have not been to a place that's not a home decor store in like forever. But I don't have any shoes to wear to um, wear with the dresses that I bought for um, our formal nights. 
um, when we go to Mexico and I had bought these little, this cute pink dress that we're wearing to, um, one of the dinners is like a pink night. And then I bought this other, like, like olive green, like foresty green color dress. So I need some shoes to go with those two. So we're going to go to the mall today and I probably should pick up my closet. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. You know what? And I think what I'm going to do with those gray basket that, that Life would sit me, I think I'm going to use those in the laundry, no, the linen closet. I'm doing tiles now because I realized like going between two houses, I was down to like no clean tiles. I had one and Imani just used it. So I'm like, let me do some tiles. That's the problem. Like I'm telling you, going between two houses. So let's just go there now and I'll show you what I'm thinking. Even though I'm not going to make over the linen closet today, I'm just going to show you what I was thinking with those baskets. Oh, please. Okay, let me put my coffee down. Okay, so remember I'm doing towels. So anyway... these baskets because my towels are gray I have um, a bunch of towels at the other house too I just don't want to get rid of so I don't want to buy too many and then then I'm going to send some as well with the money to college but I'm thinking that I would use these for like extra stuff because you know right now it just be me here but now that the girls are here and then Dante will be here as well. I'm thinking that this will be a shelf right here in the middle that I can use for extra stuff. I didn't realize. Okay, so these um, toilet tissues, rolls, smell like lavender. I didn't realize these were scented, but hopefully, they don't be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I don't usually use scented stuff. But. And then one more on this shoe. She is right here. And like I said, I'm going to use this for the overflow of stuff. So I'm gonna go to Sam's Club and just kind of stock up on like all types of stuff now that they're gonna be here versus it just being me. So yeah, that's what we're looking like. I just need to, like I said, I'm doing towels now. They're in the um, washer and then I will stock up when I go to Sam's Club. All right, so I'll show you guys what I find at the mall and I will be back. Hey guys, so we just got back to the house. Um, It's probably like 8 15 at night we after we left the mall we went by my sister house for a while over there but anyway let me just show you guys what i bought at the mall real quick and so we went to burlington because there's a burlington attached to this mall and i saw these i ended up getting two of them um for amani's nightstands I wanted her, I want her nightstands to mirror each other. So I got two of these and they were $9.99. So I'm going to put these on her nightstand. And I had been telling Ariel that I had saw these at Home Goods. Um, <laughs> these are for her table. They were, uh, let's see, $7.99. This is her color for her house. Uh-oh. 
And then they had, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so addicted to these type of sandals, but I am. And they are super comfortable. And they were on clearance for like $6.99. So I ended up getting <laughs> these sandals. Uh, I don't even know if I have anything to match them. But guess what? I'll find something. But they were $6.99. So I got those. I got this little purse to go um, on vacation with. It's just big enough to hold my phone and my lip gloss or whatever in my room key. Basic for um, one of the dinners. So as you can see the little detail on it and it was $12.99. I just felt like this would be perfect because all I need is just a little, you know, something to put on my little wrist, you know? And like I said, it was $12.99. And then just some more storage things for the pantry. Because like I told you, I just buy them as I buy more food and more stuff. Then I figure out what I need based off of that. And these were $5.99 for two. And then I also bought two different pair of heels at this um, store called Top Mata. I don't go out often um, to dress up anymore. I used to work in corporate America before I became a nurse and I wore heels every day pretty much to work. And then when I became a nurse, I just wore scrubs and then I never really dress up. So um, I ended up buying these heels. I don't remember how much they were. They were 20 some bucks, I think. And I'm gonna wear these with this, um, the olive green, no, with the hot pink dress that I'm going to wear. Um, is it hot pink? It's pink. You'll see pictures. You'll see pictures. But I want to wear this, carry this purse. It's like a slip type of dress. And I'm going to wear these heels with it and carry this purse. And then I bought these heels to go with the olive green dress. And then it has these straps to go up the to go with um the olive green dress and then i have that uh purse that i got that um sky or shy diva shy diva purse that i'm gonna carry with that so that's about all i got from the mall i did not go crazy but my brother-in-law was ever so kind. He asked me if I had, a couple weeks ago, he asked me if I had a shop back for the garage when, you know, I'd be doing all that work in the garage. And I was like, no, I've been meaning to get one. I have not got one. He's like, don't worry about it. I'll get you one. So when I went over to my sister's house, she's like, oh, by the way, I call my brother Bill. His name is not Bill, but I call him Bill, B-I-L, brother-in-law. So I call him Bill. She's like, oh, Bill got you that and i look and he got me a really nice shop back so shout out to bill thank you so much for getting me a shop back because i totally need one because i have not cleaned up my mess from yesterday because i thought i was going to go back to the shop to do some more work but i have not so i need to clean that up i'll probably will do it in the morning um yes my love you want to say hi okay so you say hi say hi hi so um, I'll probably do that in the morning, um, clean up my mess, because it's, like I said, it's after 8. So I'll probably, like I said, do that in the morning, and because um, I'm probably going to eat some dinner, take a shower, and fold these towels. But anyway, and then also, let me show y'all. My business cards came today after weeks. It took forever. I paid for Express and they were not Express, but they finally came, y'all. Let me show y'all. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> and then on the back, it just has all my contact information. But look at that. Yes. Lavishly Customs is me. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I think that might be it for this vlog. Because um, I want to try to get this out 
I want to try to, you know, get quite a few vlogs out before I go on vacation or just kind of get quite a bit of content um, recorded or vlogged before I'm kind of down. I really don't know. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. That's it. Hmm? That's it. Hey. That's, you saying hey? Hey. <laughs> so, um, I think that might be it. I think that's it for this one. Yeah, that's it. So, I will see you guys in a couple days. Say bye. Bye. Say like, comment, subscribe. Say like. Say like. I like. <laughs> comment. Say comment. And subscribe. And subscribe. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.